Joel Alvarez and Tom Aspinall come through for us on the Lucky Two Step at minus 125, pushing our record to three and four now over the last seven since we actually brought the Lucky Two Step into this world. Obviously, the Lucky Trinity does not come through for us as Molly McCann goes out there and gets armbarred. I should have known better than to trust Molly McCann. And I was even skeptical about the amount of confidence that I had in her going into that week. But it is what it is. Glad to at least hit the Lockheed two-step. Obviously, I got another lucky two-step and lucky trinity for this weekend's UFC 291 card. Just want to quickly pug the MMA Fight Archive. If you're looking for direct links to past fights for all these upcoming cards, including Bellator versus Risen, Cage Warriors, A1 Combat, uh, and then Contender Series, which is starting up very shortly. You can find that all on the MMA Fight Archive. Close to 50 subscribers now and just about to eclipse that 1900 fighter profile mark. Seven-day free trial for you to check it out for free check the link in the description below now let's right get right into the lucky two step first leg of the lucky two step we're gonna go with miranda maverick hanging around that minus 270 minus 300 mark i think that this is a huge mismatch for the maverick side of things and i think she'd be closer to minus 500 minus 600 had the jazz Duvisius fight gone her gone her way you know i think there's a huge uh disparity in terms of skill in this matchup other than the fact that Castro has big knockout power I think Maverick is good enough in the striking realm that she'll be able to eventually change levels drag this fight to the ground and impose a world from on top Cashora has made some decent improvements and yes she's a purple belt in jiu-jitsu now but I don't think that's going to matter much especially when she's eating the damage that she is from that top pressure of Maverick so give me Maverick as the first step of our Lockheed two step second step is going to be Mr. Gabriel Bonfim who's Going up against a veteran in Trevin Giles who has, you know, good experience in the UFC, but I still think he struggles in terms of asserting himself against better fighters. We saw him go on a two-fight winning streak over guys like Kosi and, and Parsons, but I think that this is a step for, up for him considering the, you know, the level of competition he's been fighting over those last two fights. Bonfim is a very slick striker, but he's mainly known for his jiu-jitsu. He's very good at putting combinations on his opponents, hurting them, and then finding the submission. Or just taking these guys to the ground and finding a submission. I think he is the better of the Bonfim brothers. And I think he has a tremendous amount of potential. I believe he's going to extend his undefeated streak this weekend. And I think it's going to come at the expense of Trevin Giles getting finished. So there's the lucky two-step. And you can get that at minus 133 right now on BetMGM. If you want to complete the Lockheed Trinity, let's go ahead and throw in Matthew Samuelsberger into there. And he's going to go out there, in my opinion, and knock out Roche Medic. Now, I like the fight doesn't go to the decision a little bit more. But for this segment, we like to focus on money lines so it's easy for people to tell if they choose to do so or fade if they want, which was not really working out for anybody who chose to fade over the last couple weeks. But I think that Samuelsberger's nine knockdowns and eight fights is going to come through for him here, hitting and landing on the glass cannon that is Roche Medic. Medic had good success in his last matchup going up against a guy like Omar Morales, who is more of a point fighting striker rather than a guy that can go out there and put the hurting on him and find a finish, just like Jalen Turner did. So I'm expecting Matthew Summersberger to go out there, land his big strikes, knock out Erosh Medic, and cash the Lockheed Trinity for us, which would be at plus 153 if you threw him with the Lockheed two step. Once again, the lucky two-step is Miranda Maverick and Gabriel Bonfim for minus 133. And the lucky trinity is Matthew Summersberger added on to that for plus 153. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully we catch another one this weekend. I will see you guys tomorrow for the three best prop bets for UFC 291. And if you're looking for Bellator breakdowns, I dropped that earlier today as well. Make sure you guys check that out on the channel. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.